The long range has three individual cargo compartments, forward, aft, and bulk. The ventilation and heating system to these compartments is controlled by a same computer called ventilation controller, which has two channels. The channel 1 is active and the channel 2 is a backup. Let's start with the bulk cargo compartment. On the long range, the cabin ambient air enters into the bulk cargo compartment via an inlet isolation valve. This air, which can be optionally heated by an electrical fan heater, is then extracted by a fan and via an outlet isolation valve is sent overboard through the aft outflow valve. The ventilation controller controls the valves and the fans. Note, if installed, compartment heating is not available when the bulk cargo door is open. The bulk cargo indications are displayed on the eCamCon page only if the heating system is installed. They are the bulk cargo temperature indications, which are the duct inlet temperature and the ambient temperature. The electrical fan heater indications, which can be at C when it is at its lowest heating level and at H when it is at its highest heating level. Note, the isolation valves and the extraction fan are not represented on the eCam page. The bulk cargo compartment control is located on the right side of the cargo aircon panel, which is on the overhead panel. An ISOL valve's push button switch, which is normally in the lights out position, can be used to manually control the inlet and outlet isolation valves to close and the extraction fan to stop. Or to leave the automatic control of these valves and fan by the ventilation controller. There could be additional controls for the fan heater if installed. The hot air push button switch, which is normally in the lights out position, allows the ventilation controller to operate the fan heater when the ambient temperature is below the selected one or to manually stop it. The fan heater output temperature is adjusted by the temperature selector and the corresponding indication is displayed on eCam. For the forward cargo, Ambient air from the cabin area enters into the compartment via two inlet isolation valves. This air can be optionally heated by mixing hot air from the hot air one supply duct via a trim air valve. Also, this air can be optionally mixed with cold air from the pack 2 via a cold air valve. Note: If the cooling is operated below 20,000 feet, the pack 2 outlet temperature is limited to 5 degrees Celsius to avoid ice accretion on the cold air valve. Like the bulk cargo compartment, the air is then extracted by a fan.
and via an outlet isolation valve, is sent overboard, but through the underfloor area, near the forward outflow valve. And the fan. Note, if installed, compartment heating is not available when the forward cargo door is open. The forward cargo indications can be also displayed on the ECAM COND page. They are If the heating is installed, the forward cargo temperature indications, which are the duct inlet temperature and the ambient temperature and the trim air valve indication. And if the cooling is installed, the cold air valve indications, which can be partially open or fully open, or fully closed. Note, like the bulk cargo, all the isolation valves are not represented on the ECAM. The forward cargo compartment control is located on the left side of the cargo aircon panel. The ISOL valve's push-button switch has the same function as for the bulk cargo compartment. There could be additional controls, depending on the options installed. A heating temperature selector. A cooling selector, to adjust the amount of cold air. A pre-sell push-button switch, which allows the temperature to be pre-selected on the forward cargo service panel. The cooling selector is used to control the cold air valve position. In norm, the cold air valve is partially open and is the normal position. In max, the cold air valve is fully open. In off, the cold air valve is fully closed. Final compartment temperature adjustment is achieved by the ventilation controller, which controls the trim air valve by comparing the ambient temperature and the selected one. This cockpit temperature selection can be overridden by the preselected one when the active light is on. For the aft cargo compartment, the ventilation is similar to that of the forward cargo compartment, except that for the air entering, there are no cooling and no heating supplies, and also, for the extraction, the air is sent overboard to the aft outflow valve area. As for the other cargoes, the ventilation controller controls the valves and the fan. Note, the aft cargo compartment indications are not represented on the ECAM COND page. As the aft and bulk cargo compartments on the long range are separated, so the aft compartment has its own ISAL valve's push button switch, which has the same function as for the bulk cargo compartment. Note, there are no heating and cooling options. For normal operation of the cargo conditioning system, the only pilot inputs that are required are to check that all push-button switches have no white light on, to set the required temperatures, and, if installed, to set the cooling selector to off unless livestock, food or plants are carried. Note, the mid-position of the temperature selectors 
corresponds to approximately 15 degrees Celsius, the cold position to 5 degrees Celsius, and the hot position to 25 degrees Celsius.